I've been doing water wheels and trying to make electricity for longer than I've been doing YouTube. This is the first one I did and which it runs on a pulley and it, it was a little small pulley. It didn't spin the generator fast enough. So I decided I need to make a great big old pulley to go on top of that thing. The aluminum thing that I'm using as the water wheel, I got it from a scrap yard. And so I took a piece of C channel and cut it up and made a big old pulley to go on top of it to get better gear reduction or something of that nature to get better speed on my generator. And so then this made the generator go fast enough, but sure enough, my brushes were not clean and so I didn't make any electricity. This probably worked pretty good. But so then I went to Googling and went to shopping and making more junk, which more junk and more Googling just ended up being parts on a shelf. So that didn't turn out so great. I don't have enough head for that and I didn't quite understand the pressures you would need. So then I tried making something out of like a lawnmower deck to hold those pelton wheel type things. And I'd say they still work a uh, broke down truck. Yeah. That truck's got 470,000 miles on it and it's a 6.4. And the first problem it had was, was the last problem it had. But it never gave trouble till 470,000 miles. Very little service. I think the only thing that was like all day. So that's the uh, lawnmower belly cut in half with a car rim, flat bent with some padding. And it wasn't very efficient. I think it worked pretty cool. I liked it. We could have done more to it, but it was. And then here. Yeah. And so that turned into this thing which broke and the only reason why it broke was i built this big old pulley and i didn't really get it straight enough but i built that big old pulley and it attached to there that little pulley which turned another great big old pulley and this thing here weighs too much i mean it weighs too much to be held in place with some crates and that's all I was doing, mostly just testing, see what I could do. And it got to spinning too fast. And then when it got to spinning too fast, it came into contact with the other wheel, the water wheel itself, and broke it. Which, that's repairable. I mean, it could go back to trying to use it. And we may. We may end up putting a few more telephone poles down here and having like three different water wheels all going at the same time trying to figure out which one works the best so right now i've got the generator off and the water wheels just going i hear a loud and not just bearing that needs replacing see that big old wheel got spinning like that fast Put some grease in it'll make it flat. I need to pick up trash and burn the trash. Nice and sunny this morning. Oh yeah, it's morning.
in which I'm pretty impressed that it hasn't broke yet. We may end up, my problem right now is that chain popping. I may end up having to move the generator house thing closer to the water wheel so I use a much shorter chain, have less opportunity for air. But that, I think that means we'll have to bring another pole and put it across here some sort of which way, which the little creek makes a curve right here. That means my pole would be crooked. So I guess that won't matter. So that way we could get that sprocket mounted like right next to that sprocket and have a little short chain. We probably should get this sprocket closer to the pulley, slide that over, get that pulley to come in. And Sounds like more hammering and taking everything apart and putting everything together. Like one more time. Or the other option, which that's another thing that happens to all the rest of them, is we can just turn the water wide open and put all the load we can and see what breaks it. I don't like doing that. It's a lot easier doing that than it is fixing it. Just max the gas till it blows, baby. We're gonna let that run. It's been running, I guess, four or five days. I need to grease it. But I just like watching it go. And this is where we're at now. I've replaced the chain. That's a new chain, by the way. And I cut that pipe a little shorter. It's not hitting no more. So this is my valve and it's four inch pipe here and then it's a six inch pipe here we've got another valve over here where we can put run another four inch pipe or something or but the plastic part of it has burnt off from people lighting the dam on fire and stuff like that so you know burn the brush off and sometimes your stuff melts so that pipe was installed probably i may have been alive but it was installed a long time ago and it just goes somewhere through the dam into the lake and then further down which it's kind of stopped up right now. I need to get it clean. I've tried, but I haven't had much luck. Is where the actual big, like 24 inch pipe goes through the dam and it exits down there. 
I've always wanted to put a wheel on it, but hell, we gotta get this one right first. So, um, there used to be like raisin ponds, which are still there, there and there, and then there's two more up there for raisin fish.